Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to auto-generate blog posts for blogger using AI agent. So I'm an owner of a skincare brand and to create more customers' engagement, I post blogs on my Google Blogger account. Now writing the blogs and posting manually is very time consuming and hectic for me. So what I've done is for that process, I have created an AI agent using Pabli Connect. I keep the ideas of the blog in my Google Sheets. So now as soon as I'm going to add the new title and the other details, the idea for the blog in my Google Sheets, automatically using all the details, an AI agent is going to generate the vlog content. As the content is generated, automatically this AI agent is going to create a post in my Google Blogger account. So now if you want to learn how to create this amazing AI agent for yourself, for your business, then let me take you to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to auto-generate blog posts for vlogger using AI agent. So as an owner of a skincare brand, I use Google Blogger to share valuable articles with my audience and build my brand online and create more customers engagement. I use Google Sheets to keep my content ideas like title category, target audience, main keywords, tone of voice point to be covered in the blog. And I use an AI agent to automatically generate well-written blog posts from the data I've added in my Google Sheets. This way, the fresh skincare tips and product information get published on my blogger site effortlessly, keeping my customers informed and engaged. And I'm going to create this amazing AI agent using Pabli Connect. But before that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how this AI agent works in real time. So this is the spreadsheet in which I'm going to add the details of my new content idea. And after adding the details, I'm going to check whether automatic the vlog status comes over here as created and a new blog has been posted on my blogger account or not okay so i'm going to add the idea of the new vlog content right here you can see right over here i've added all the details in my google sheets you can see the title is how to build a simple skincare routine for oily skin this is the category skincare routine the target audience is teenager and young adults main keywords oily skin skincare routine Tone of voice informative and points to be covered are right here. You can see the blog status has automatically been updated as created. So if I'm going to open my Google Blogger account right here, you can see automatically a new post has been created in my Google Blogger account. And you can see this is the preview of this vlog right here. The title is how to build a simple skincare routine for oily skin. Okay, and this is the content. So this is how this AI agent is going to work that we are going to create using Pabli Connect. For that on a new tab, I'm going to browse the website of Pabli Connect that is www.pabli.com slash connect. After browsing the website, Pabli Connect's landing page is going to appear in front of you. On the landing page, you have two options, sign in or sign up for free. If you're an existing user, you can directly sign into your Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. I am an existing user, so I'm going to directly sign into my Pabli Connect account. Then you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see all the applications that Pabli provides, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on this access now button right over here. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. And in order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right here that says create workflow. It is asking for the workflow name first. That is going to be AI agent to auto generate blog post for vlogger. You can see this is the name of my workflow. For the folder on the left side of my screen, I've created these many folders. As I'm going to click on the drop down, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow in. And then simply I'm going to click on this create button. A workflow has been created in the name of AI agent to auto generate blog posts for vlogger. And you can see that there are two windows in front of you. One is the trigger window, other is the action window. So what is trigger in action? Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two principles. Over here, trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first in which for my trigger application over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as Google Sheets. 
So I've selected my trigger application as Google Sheet so that as soon as I'm going to add the date of the new content idea in my spreadsheet, the trigger over here should capture the response of that. That is why for my trigger application, I've selected it as Google Sheets and the trigger event over here is going to be new or updated spreadsheet row. Then you can see Public Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. Using the URL and by following the steps given here below in the help desk, we are going to build the connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect. So I'm going to copy the URL and open my spreadsheet. From the panel, I'm going to go to Extensions, Add-ons and Get Add-ons option right over here. This window is going to appear in front of you on which of the search bar, I'm going to search for Public Connect Webhooks. As you can see that I've already installed Pabli Connect Webhooks, so I'm going to move forward. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webhooks, please do that so that with the help of this webhook, you can build the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect, okay? So after installing, go back and refresh the spreadsheet from here. After refreshing the spreadsheet, if I'm going to open this extension again, now you can see this option, Pabli Connect Webhooks. Click on it and from the drop down, select this initial setup option right here. Then the initial setup dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for the webhook URL and the trigger column. For the webhook URL field, I'm going to paste the webhook URL that Public Connect has provided us. And for the trigger column, it says the trigger column will be a final data column on which of the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. In the spreadsheet, my trigger column is going to be column F because as soon as I'm going to add the data in this column, the entire row's data is going to be forwarded towards this webhook URL. So my trigger column is going to be column F and then I'm going to click on the submit button right here. As soon as I've done that, it says setup configured successfully. Now I'm going to go back. The steps that I'm going to tell you right now are super, super, super important. Please do not forget to follow them. Go back to extensions and public init webhooks. Now from the drop down, select this option that is send on event. It is mandatory to click on send on event because as soon as you get to add the new data in the spreadsheet, this spreadsheet is going to collect the data and forward it towards this webhook URL that is to our workflow right here. That is why it is mandatory to click on the send on event, okay? So this is how you build a connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. If I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down, it says waiting for webhook response. So now to check whether Google Sheets is successfully connected to Pabli Connect or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another vlog idea in the spreadsheet and after that I'm going to check whether Public Connect automatically captures the new data response or not okay. So I'm going to add the data right here title category target audience main keywords tone of voice and points to cover in the spreadsheet right here. You can see right here in my spreadsheet I've added the data of the new vlog idea. The title is the secret benefits of vitamin C serum you don't know. Category is project guide. Target is skincare enthusiast. Main keywords vitamin C serum anti-aging skincare. Over here this is the tone that is professional. Points to be covered brightening effect reduces pigmentation. Daily use tips product application tips. Okay. So you can see as I've added the data in my spreadsheet. Now I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down. And yes you can see a response has been captured in my trigger. Tone of voice is professional. Target audience is skincare enthusiast. If I'm going to scroll down points to cover these are the points to be covered keywords is vitamin c serum anti-aging and skincare category is project guide and you can see the title the secret benefits of vitamin c serum you don't know okay so as now the response has been captured in my trigger this means that google sheets has now been connected to public connect and our trigger setup is done as now we have the content ideas in our trigger using the idea i want an ai agent to generate the blog content for us on that title for that i'm going to set up my action step in which for my action application over here i'm going to select it as open ai action event is going to be chat gpt and then i'm going to click on this connect button a window is going to appear in front of you on which click on our new connection then it is asking for the token using which we can build a connection between open ai and public connect to have the token go to this hyperlink given here below in the help desk right here. Then the API keys page of your OpenAI account is going to appear in front of you and now we're going to generate a new key. Firstly, I'm going to name this key. For the name, I'm going to give it as test key. Project as default and permissions as all. After filling all the details, I'm going to create the token from here. The token is created. I'm going to copy it and paste it in this field right here and click on this save button. You can see OpenAI is connected to Public Connect. 
After connecting, firstly, it is asking for me to select the AI model. For the AI model, I am going to use GPT-40 Mini, but if you want to use any other AI models, you can select it from this drop down right here according to your requirement. Next, it is asking for the prompt. What is prompt? Prompt is a text with the help of which an AI agent is going to generate as a content according to our requirement. In the prompt, you need to specify each and everything that you want in the content and do not want. So for the prompt over here in this use case, I'm going to write it as. So this is the prompt that I've written right here. You are a content writer for a skincare brand. Write a blog post in HTML format with a word count close to 500 words. Use the detail provided below. We have to enter the details right here. Ensure the blog is engaging, informative to the target audience. Write in the given tone. Include the main keywords naturally for SEO. Use proper HTML tags like H2, P, U, L, L, I and Strong. Format the post as a complete blog ready to publish on Google Blogger. Do not add any of these symbols in the content and just give the vlog content and nothing else. And strictly do not include the title in the vlog and I have entered the title right here. So now over here, this is the prompt that I've written in which I've mentioned all the things that I want and do not want. It is asking for all the details with the help of which this AI agent is going to generate as a vlog. So now for the data of these fields, like first this title, I'm going to map the data, which is inserting data from the previous step. So I'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How it works is that, that as soon as I'm going to select the field, the previous step, that is Google Sheets, new updated spreadsheet row is going to appear in front of you. And as I'm going to click on it, the response that was captured in our previous step is going to appear. It is asking for the title for which we have to generate the vlog. This is the title. So I'm going to select the data of the title from my previous response. So as soon as I've selected the data from my previous response, you can see this data is mapped. And as I've mapped this data, the data has now become dynamic. That means now whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this mapped data. Similarly, for the category, I'm going to map the data of the category right over here. For the target audience, I'm going to map the data of the target audience right here. For the main keywords, I'm going to map the data of the main keywords. Over here for the tone, I'm going to map the data of the tone right here. And lastly, for the points to be covered, I'm going to map the data of the points, okay? Over here, I have to again map the data of the title that I don't want this content to include. So I'm going to map the data of the title here as well. So this is the prompt and this is the AI model. Now I'm going to simply click on this and send test request button for this AI agent to generate the content. After that, you can see after a few seconds, a response has been generated in which we have received the message content. And this is the content generated by my AI agent. You can see right here. It says the power of vitamin C serum in your skincare routine. When it comes to skincare, vitamin C serum is a superstar ingredient that deserves a place in your daily life. Known for its remarkable properties, vitamin C serum can unlock a multitude of benefits particularly if you are on a quiz of youthful and radiant skin. You can see right over here, this is the content generated by my AI agent for the title that I've added in my Google Sheets. So as the content is generated, now what I want is, I want to create a post on my Google Blogger account from the content that is generated. For that, I'm going to add an action step in this workflow, in which for my action application, I'm going to select it as Google Blogger right here. Action event is going to be create a post and then I'm going to click on this connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you, on which click on add new connection, then I'm going to click on this sign in with Google button right here. This window is going to appear in front of you, which is asking for me to choose an account in which account have we created a Google Blogger account. So this is the account I'm going to select it from here. After selecting, it is asking for the permission for this account. For that, I'm going to click on this continue button as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Public Connect. So I'm going to click on this continue button. And you can see I've successfully authorized Google Blog to Public Connect. Firstly, it is asking for the blog ID. For the blog ID, I'm using my blog ID. So for the ID, I'm going to select it as my blog. It is asking for the title of the blog. For that, I'm going to map the data of the title that I've received in my Google Sheets step. For the content, I'm going to map the data of the content that is generated by my AI agent. You can see it right here. 
I have used the HTML format in the content so you can do that as well in order for you to create a creative blog post on your blogger account. For the status, I'm going to select it as draft right here. Why am I creating a draft? Because this is an AI generated content and if I want to make any changes in this content, I can definitely do that if I'm going to put the status as draft.life. Is draft, I'm going to select it as yes because I'm creating a draft. After that, it is asking for all these details which I do not require. So I'm going to simply skip the part and click on this save and send test request button right here. Then I've received a response, which is a positive response. So if I'm going to open my Google Blogger account and refresh this page from here, you can see automatic new post has been created in my Google Blogger account for the title, the secret benefits of vitamin C syrup you don't know. If I go to preview this blog from here, you can see the blog has now been successfully created on the title that we have added in our Google Sheets and with the content that was generated by our AI agent. So this is the content and you can see it is having a very beautiful formatting. It is because I have generated the content in HTML format, okay? So as a blog has been created in my Google Blogger account, so now what I want is in my spreadsheet right over here, you can see I've added the field of blog status. So as soon as a blog is going to be created in my Google Blogger account, I want the status to be updated as created. For that, I'm going to add an action step in this workflow. In which from action application, I'm going to select it as Google Sheets. Action event over here is going to be update row. And then I'm going to click on this connect button. Our window is going to appear in front of you on which I'm going to select the existing connection. But if you want, you can add a new connection from here and click on this save button. Firstly, for the spreadsheet, I'm going to select as blog content planner. So from the drop down, I'm going to select the spreadsheet as blog content planner. Then it is asking for me to select a sheet. For the sheet, I'm going to select only first sheet that is sheet one from here, okay? After that, it is asking for the row index. For the rate of the row index, I'm going to map the rate of the row index from here. Then it is asking for all these fields. So I'm going to skip the part. And for the blog status, I'm going to just simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the status over here as created and click on this save and send test request button. I have received a response that is a positive response and you can see the status of the blog has been updated over here in my spreadsheet as created. So you can see I have successfully created this AI agent using Pabli Connect. So now to sum up what we have done, the trigger is Google Sheets new updated spreadsheet row. As soon as I'm going to add the data of the new idea of my blog content in my spreadsheet, the trigger is going to capture the response of that. Using the details, an AI agent is going to generate the blog content for our Google Blogger account. When our AI agent that is OpenAI ChatGPT is going to generate the content, a new post that is Google Blogger create a post, a new post is going to be created in my Google Blogger account. And as the post is created, I want to update my Google Sheets with the status of the post as created. So that is why I've added this action step that is Google Sheets update row. And in this manner, I have created this amazing AI agent to auto-generate blog posts for blogger using Pabli Connect. So this was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Not just with these applications, you can create automation between multiple applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button down there.